Hello guys, Luz here. Welcome back to another video. And this is a pretty big one. This is how you can install the FIFA 21 cheat table, cheat engine. Uh, last year it was referred to the live editor, but this year it's called the cheat table. Uh, it's a technical term. And I've added timestamps in the description and on the YouTube play bar, so you can easily skip through and skim through different parts of the video to your need. If you don't know what it is or you uh, forget, it is a tool that allows you to edit various things in a career save or a squad file in game, uh, like you know, players' attributes, players' names, all their, their stats, their appearances, their stuff like that. You can transfer players, you can you know, enable full global scouting networks, you don't have to scout players, you can do various things for training, you can uh, edit match schedules, you can you know, do stuff with the youth scouting and make all your players 95 potential, blah, 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 so much possibility. I will be doing few tutorials in the future on how you can do each of these individual things, but today it's just gonna be a basic tutorial on how you can install it and set it up. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but also uh, make sure that I show every step in good detail. So the first thing we need to do is install the cheat engine. Uh, basically, the cheat engine is what lets the cheat table run. If you, it's like if you've ever used WinRAR, a uh, WinRAR is what lets you open a RAR file. So the version of the cheat engine you want to install is 6.8.1. The other, there are other versions, but a lot of them may not work and may not work as well. So it's highly recommended that you use 6.8.1. This is again 100% free. So I've put a link in the description to the mega link of where you can install the cheat engine. Uh, you can go to their official website, but uh, they no longer uh, offer the download option for 6.8.1, so you're not gonna be able to find it on there. So you just go here, we can click download, and it will just take a tiny bit of time to download. It's only about 13 megabytes. If you want, you can create a free account for Mega uh, if you need uh, file storage needs. Now, before we run the EXE, it's important that you turn off your Wi-Fi. And I know you're gonna ask why, but it's because uh, to make uh, money, Qi Engine has ads in the installer. And if you're not careful, uh, it can auto install some programs that you may not want. Uh, some of them could be potentially malicious. Most of the time they're just uh, dumb antiviruses or stuff, but you, you don't want to install them. Um, uh, so it's highly recommended that you turn off your Wi-Fi so that the EXE can't uh, connect to the internet and can install these programs. So how you do that is you go to the taskbar at the bottom of the screen and you'll see a little Wi-Fi icon. Click on this and then I'll blurt out the name of course, but then you just want to click disconnect and I'll do that right now. Give it a second and it'll disconnect and you'll see this icon or something similar. Uh, if you're using a different version of Windows, like Windows 7, it might look a bit different. But you can look up online how to uh, on a tutorial on how to do that if you're still stuck. So now we can just run the EXE, uh, just click on it. It may open a window like this, just click one, run, it's just because you're offline. It may ask you if you want to run as an administrator, make sure you click yes, and then it will open this. Just click next, then I accept the agreement. You can read through this if you want to, but you do not have to. Click next, and then select where you want to install it. I would recommend installing it uh, in your program files, but you can install it anywhere. Um, so then we just want to click next, next, and then you can toggle these on if you want. I would recommend just keeping both on. Then click next, and then click install. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna do this, but you click install, it would just take a little bit to, to install, and then it'll give you a message saying it uninstalled. And then you can close this. But I'll cancel that because I've already installed it. Next thing you wanna do is install the actual cheat table. And at this point, you can turn your Wi-Fi back on. So to install the cheat table, we want to go uh, to Aaron Actu's Patreon. Aaron Actu created the tool, and uh, although it is on Patreon, you do not have to pay for it, it is 100% free. So again, link in the description, patreon.com slash x Aaron Actu, x Aaron Actu, and I'll bring you here. Now, you may see a version that's only for Patreons, um, but that's fine, you can just use a one version earlier or whatever. However, I would highly recommend becoming his Patreon. He develops uh, the cheat table as well as another tool called the Live Editor, which I'll make tutorials for in the future. There's a lot of great stuff, so if you have any spare cash, I would definitely recommend uh, joining him. You can get some cool rewards, such as early access, early versions, custom Lewis scripts, stuff like that. So we can see uh, we can see the one that you have to be a Patreon for. It will be released uh, uh, for free in a couple of days, but we can go one below and we'll see FIFA 21 cheat table v 21.1.1.5. Now, the version you see might, might be newer, actually probably will be if you're watching a, a week or so after this. So just do whatever the latest version is. It does not have to be this one. So then we can open this new tab or just click on it and it will go here. We can see uh, there might be a video tutorial for something, which I will also make one in the future, and then the change log. 
and then it's gonna there's gonna be two files you can download the .zip file and the .msi file. The MSI is the auto installer. The zip you have to manually install. I'll be going through how you can install both. Um, although I will start with the MSI because it is easier. So once the MSI is downloaded, we can just click on it. If this opens, just click more info, run anyway. It's 100% safe. You can do a virus scan uh, if you want. It's just because it's an uh, unknown MSI file. So then it's going to bring you here. You just want to click next and then where you want to install it. It does not really matter where you install it. Normally, I don't like to install it in my program files. Um, so I just put up my documents folder. So we can click browse and we can change the location. But for the now, uh, this totally works. I will install it in there. Then you can choose if you want to install it for everyone or just me. I'll go just me. Again, does not really matter for the uh, majority of people. Then click next, then next. It may ask you if you want to give administrator privileges, just click yes, and then boom, installation complete. You've installed it. Now the zip installation, bit different. Click on the zip file once you've downloaded and should open in a program, normally WinRAR. If it doesn't open, uh, I would highly recommend you install WinRAR. It's 100% free. And if you're using another program like 7-Zip, uh, that's also a good one. But if you're having issues with uh, extracting the files, then I'd recommend switching to WinRAR. So the page is rarlab.com slash downloads.html. I have put the link in the description. You just scroll down, click on the one for the language you want. Uh, and then the, if you want, 32 or 64 bit, most of the time you want 64 bit. Even though it might say it's a trial, it's 100% free, you never have to pay. So don't worry about that. So then once it's open in this program, you just want to extract it onto your PC. So you want to select, so you want to extract all files and folders. That is very, very important. So to do this, you can either click on the folder with three dots, or you can select all the files by going control A or selecting on the first one, holding down shift, clicking on the last then extract to, and then choose where you wanna extract it on your PC. Maybe I wanna extract it onto my documents folder, but then make sure you create a subfolder for the cheat table, like cheat table FIFA 21. Because otherwise it will put all these files onto your main documents folder with all your other files and it'll just get a bit messy. Then click okay, and we'll extract. If you get any errors, Google the error online, obviously. You can also drag them onto your PC, but uh, doing it this way is a bit easier. So now we have installed the cheat table and cheat engine, but now I'm gonna quickly go over uh, how you can open it and stuff like that. So what you wanna do is run FIFA. Don't open the cheat engine, don't open the cheat table, just run FIFA. Obviously FIFA 21, you can launch it via origin or via mod launcher like the FIFA, uh, FIFA editor tool or FIFA mod manager, link in the description to videos about those. But yeah, we just make sure FIFA launches and then wait until it's on the main menu, wait until it's 100% loaded up and I'll come back to you. So now when FIFA is on the main menu, like it uh, currently is, um, if you've gone to a career, you can probably exit out, but if it's not working, you might just want to restart, get to the main menu before you do anything else. Next thing you want to do is open the cheat engine. Now, a lot of the time you might just be able to search in your programs, cheat engine, and it comes up here. Uh, you just want to click it. You can click run as administrator if you want, but it will ask you for admin uh, permissions anyways. But if you can't find it here, then you can uh, locate where you find where you found it before, uh, where you installed it. So for me, that's program files times 86, cheat engine 6.8.1. And then we can run the cheat engine exe here, but I've favorited uh, it here, so I'll just run it this way. It'll ask you for admin permission. Make sure you click yes, otherwise it won't work. Then it'll open up like this. And I know what you're going to say, well, where's the cheat table? That's because we have not opened it yet. So the easiest way to do this is go to where we installed the cheat, uh, where, the, where, the, where we installed the cheat table. So documents, cheat table, FIFA 21, but that will be different for you probably. And then we want to drag the FIFA 21.ct trainer file. We can move it so it's like this. Just drag it onto the white part, the, the very white part of the cheat engine. Don't drag it up here. It's best just to drag it down here because uh, it might not work if you drag it in other places. And then just wait a little bit. It's gonna say loading data, and this might take a minute, this might take 10 seconds, this might take 10 minutes. Uh, it yeah, obviously depends on your processor. It normally will take about 10, 15 seconds. Um, and I'll just say ready to use, just click okay. You make an error, something like that might happen. Um, and if that happens, then I would recommend you join the official Discord. I've linked it in the description, uh, this, the FIFA Live Editor Discord, it has channels for the cheat table. Uh, it's 100% free to join, just make sure you join, you can, ask your, you can ask your question there, if you need help, you can do that. Um, so yeah, I'm in it, and uh, you can also talk to me. Um, so yeah, make sure you join that server. But if it's working all well, then we can go and try to make an edit. We can go and let's try to make uh, Kappa 1 overall. Let's go here. We find Keppa, we can make him the uh, main goalkeeper. Then just click Players Editor. 
give it a second to load. If it brings up Iniesta, then just uh, kind of refresh, refresh your screen. If it brings up someone like this, refresh your screen. So move over them in game, because to, to find to edit the player, you uh, the easiest way is to find them in game. So if you're outside a career, this could be edit player, team sheets. If you're inside a career, squad squad hub, edit player, transfer hub, search players, stuff like that. You can also search player up, uh, ID, which you can find on SoFIFA, but I'll get more into that later. Then we just click the refresh button here, once we've located them, and here's Kepa. So we can just make a super simple edit, make his potential one, and then drag all of, his, all of his attributes, especially the goalkeeper one. And there we go, he's one overall. Click apply changes, then we can go in and out of the team sheet, and we will see Kepa is one overall. Some would say justified. Uh, we can see all of his traits are one, everything like that. So yeah, that's just an example of a super simple edit, but let me know what tutorials you want about the live editor, changing players' hair, uh, editing schedules, you know, changing height, weight, attributes, stuff like that, and I'll make sure to do them in the next couple of months. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you join the live editor Discord. Uh, try to support Aaron Actor on Patreon if you can. I've linked everything in the description. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> I've been running out of time, think I need a rewind, feeling out of life I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you